Welcome to our video series introducing you to Microsoft Excel. In this video, we'll create formulas for basic mathematic functions. In this video, we're going to start taking a more in-depth look at formulas. In this video, we'll focus on the four most basic types of formulas or rather, four basic types of formulas before we start getting too advanced. So, we've already covered auto sum, which really takes the value of all the cells you select and adds them together automatically, and then updates the total automatically whenever the value of any of those cells changes. So, here we'll be covering the plus format, and also the minus, and multiplication, and division. So, let's start with a new blank workbook. OK, new blank workbook called Book 2. First of all, let's just do some basic addition. So for A1, let's say 78. That's our constant. And for B1, 43. That's our other constant. And actually, what I'm going to do quickly, just so we have some labels for these values, right-click there on the row, and insert. And let's call column A, let's just call it first value. And B, let's just call it second value. And stretch that column out. Enter and stretch that column out. There we go. And then total. So first value 78, second value 43 and total. Let's do a sum. So let's create a formula to add up those two numbers. It's very basic. All formulas start with an equal sign. And you can create or edit your formula within the cell or within the cell editing bar here. And you don't need to use the brackets. You can just, for example, OK, here we want A2. So A2 plus B2. You can just do that and then press Enter when you're done. And there we go, 121. So for a very basic formula, that's fine. If we go to the editing bar here, we can make things a little easier just by putting brackets around each part of the formula. Once we get started with more complicated formulas, it just helps structure the formula because you're telling Excel that this part should be calculated separately and then whichever other parts are also bracketed should also be calculated separately. So it might be a good habit to get into. At least that's my suggestion. And it still comes to the same thing. It's still 121. And OK, that's how you do additions. Very basic. So next, let's do a subtraction formula. And I'm sure you can guess the syntax for that. Just replace the plus with a minus. So let's quickly do that. The first value is A2. So let's start with equals. And let's be neat and put it within brackets. So we want A2 minus B2. And close up the brackets and press Enter. And there we go, 35. So very straightforward. So let's put some labels next to each one of these so we remember what they are. So addition total, and for this one, subtraction total. And next, let's do multiplication. So we'll start with an equal sign, and let's put in brackets to be neat, then A2, and what the multiplication symbol for computers is, is the asterisk. It's not the X, it's the asterisk. It's the same as times. So A2 times B2, close brackets, and press Enter, and there we go. So multiplication total, and finally division. So division is equals our first bracket and our first value, which is A2, divided by, which is forward slash. So A2 divided by B2, close brackets, 
and enter. So 1.81, etc. That's how many times B2 goes into A2. And division total. So that's an introduction to the four most common types of actions you can take within formulas. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And it's quite straightforward, as you can see. Just start every formula with an equal sign, and I do suggest that you put each part of the formula within brackets. When we start getting into more involved formulas, you'll see why I recommend that you do this. So you just put the address of the cells, A2 plus B2, in this instance, for addition, A2 minus B2 for subtraction, asterisk B for multiplication, and division is A2 forward slash B2. So that's all it takes to get set up with basic formulas with Excel so you can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division on the values of cells.